Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with the Kid. Today I'm going to do something a lot different. I'm going to make a snack today that I enjoy. It's a healthy snack made out of organic Granny Smith apples. What am I going to make? I'm going to make apple chips in the dehydrator. So stick around, we'll make apple chips together. It's a great snack to have. I put them in a Ziploc bag and snack on them for about a week. So anyway, here they are, Granny Smith apple chips on Cooking with a Kid. As you can see, I've got, as I said, some Granny Smith apples. These happen to be Publix Greenwise organic uh, Granny Smith apples. They're not real big, but they're the tart apples. So I'm going to take those and use my dehydrator, my mandolin slicer. I'm going to make some apple chips. So first thing I've got to do is wash the apples. Okay, of course I have thoroughly washed the apples. Now I'm going to take an apple core, put it right in the middle. It takes the core right out of the apple. There you go. So I'm going to do that the rest of them and I'll bring you back. And there you go. Got all the apples cored. Now we're going to slice them. Okay, what, what I have here is a bowl with some water in it, and I've added some lemon juice. Now, the lemon juice will keep the apples from turning brown. So what I'm going to do now is I have a mandolin slicer. I'm going to set it on the desired thickness of the chips, and I'm going to slice them. So the slicer has this protective guard you can put on the what you're slicing. And you slice them right into the water. Like I said, I've got all the apples cored. Just like that. I leave the skins on them. Skins where all the nutrients are, so I've left the skins on them. So I'll finish up with these and I'll bring you back. Okay, now I have a bowl of sliced apples. As you can see, they're all about the same consistency. Does a good job. Now you know, now you'll see why I use the lemon juice. Because apples, when they're left to the open air, they will oxidize. And that's what will happen to all your apples as they're dehydrating. If you do not, use a little bit of lemon juice in there. It adds a little bit of flavor, too. So, there we go. Now we're going to put them in the dehydrator. So, what I do now is I just layer them. It's okay to overlap them a little bit. These make a, a great snack. My wife and I both love them. You can use regular apples. You could use golden crisp apples, any apples. If you don't have a dehydrator, they're great to have. So, I'll keep doing that. I'll keep adding layers, and I'll tell you a little bit more when I finish up. Okay, as you can see, I have filled up the dehydrator. And I'm going to put the cover on it now. And the cover has this particular brand has settings on it. The highest is 160 degrees. You can follow whatever instructions yours has. 
but I'm going to turn it on now. And uh, it's probably going to take it's probably going to take five or six hours at least, depending on how thick you slice them. It's going to take a little while to uh, to finish. So, yeah, I'm going to plug it in. I'll bring you back whenever they're ready. All right, everybody, this is what you wind up with. Apple chips. Granny Smith apple chips, and they are good. So there you go. Something different than normally what you see on this channel. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Granny Smith green apple chips here on Cooking with the Kid. Granny Smith apple chips, everybody. And they are good. Again, thank you for watching Cooking with the Kid. God bless you all. Thank you to all of our Patreons who uh, continue to support. Uh, those of you that watch all the videos, thumbs up the videos, continue to watch. We appreciate it. And uh, hopefully this was something different that you might want to try. Apple chips. God bless you all and have a good night.